Hello, welcome back to Plumbing College. Today we are going to install some waste pipe using push fit fittings. We are going to install two traps, the branch pipe and the stack pipe following a diagram. We're going to be using 40 mil, 32 mil and the stack 110 mil. And we're also going to be drilling the boss. For this assessment, following the diagram, they have specified that from the datum line, the centre of this 110 mil pipe needs to be 500 mil. So we're going to measure 500 mil and do a line and install the clips first. Let's do that now. Measure 500 mil across, which is there. Like that. So that is for us the datum. That's 500 mil across. And just to reiterate, that is where the centre this pipe is going to go. We're going to cap off the bottom of it. Okay. We've capped off the bottom. Right. What we're going to do now is we're going to slide the clip in place. We're going to mark how high we want the clip. So we want the clip about this high, there. Right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna find the center. There to there is 60, so I've measured 30. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna put this, we found the center, six up 300 is the middle. So this is where, and that's where we want the top of the clip to go. So what we're going to do, we're going to put that in place there. Hold it nice and level. Like that. And we're then going to mark the two holes. Okay, so it's there and there. So that's my holes there. In there. So what we'll do, do that there, do that there. Okay. Using the Braddle one, two, one. and two. So we're now going to slide this in. Like that just touches the floor for this. Right, we're then gonna do up so it's nice and tight. And then the second one, so we're just using the spanner the other side. so far just check it's all level and all good so yeah that's all level and just to reiterate the clip spacing should be no more than one meter apart so in this case it's about it's about 89 890 mil right so we need to work out so we're gonna have 40 mil pipe so we're going to have 40 mil pipe coming all the way along and connecting into the stack pipe via a boss connector. So we need to work out where to position this. We don't want it there. We don't want it there. We don't want it there because we need to feel the valves. We don't want it there. So a good place to put it would be here. We don't want it here because it's going to be sticking out too far. So here. Right, so we're going to do it here, but we're going to be mindful that the pipe's got to drop. So this is one from here to the end is one and a half meters, and it drops 18 mil per meter. So we're going to we're going to put our boss about here. Right, the, the boss we're going to be using is courtesy of McAlpine. Okay, so we've got a 57 mil hole cutter. We're going to drill it. So we don't want it interfering with the clip. 
so we're going to probably do it about there, and there, and there, and there. That's what we do now. Move the burrs. Make sure it goes the right way up. Top. Top. Like that. And we then, we then do it up. Anti-clockwise. Like that. Okay, well, it's a lot of so folks. When you connect up mechanical waste fit, you need to make sure you put this on the right way, which is that way. So it's wedging into the pipe. A lot of students put this on the wrong way. They put it on this way, which is wrong. So make sure you do that correctly, like that. Okay. All right. So as a recap, we've just drilled the boss, the 40 mil, the 40 mil pipe. And we want the pipe to go so it doesn't interfere. So we've designed it so it falls just, just a little bit lower. So it can go about there. So we don't want it there, there or there. Okay, so just want it like that. Okay. Right, so we're gonna measure how far off the wall it is. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna make some spaces using using copper tube. So if we measure here, I'd say let's do it at 15 mil. We can make some 15 mil spaces. Like this. Some 15 mil spaces. And as you probably realise, 15 mil is actually where the pipe goes to the end, that's what we do. Right, let's make some spaces. So one. Right, so folks, with these push fits, if you do, have, if you are having a bit of trouble pushing them in, what you can do is get yourself some uh, washing up liquid. Just put some washing up liquid inside. Okay, and then just makes it easier. Okay, just so it's minimal. Right, so using the forty mil pipe cutter. Okay, following the arrows. Like that, so that no, no filings needed with these modern methods of doing things. If you're, if you've not been as fortunate to have one of these, and you cut your pipe using a, a hacksaw, you need to make sure that you move all the burrs because if you don't remove all the burrs when you push this on you could you could split you could split the inside okay so you need to you need to file it down as you know just outside and inside okay we're gonna 
I'm going to put pipe. I'm going to hold this pipe here in case it's. Okay, I'm going to hold it so it's level, but it's it's, it's only going to be level temporarily. Okay, so what we're going to okay, what we're going to do is we put a screw in there. So just to recap on what I've done, I put a spacer behind the 15 mil spacer behind the clip to clear the pipes over there. But what I've done so far now is when I put this clip in, I've done it. I've done it. So this bit here is level. How this should fall is 18 mil per metre. So if we measure half a metre there, and that should rise up 9 mil. So 18 mil for one metre. This is half a metre. So we've got to rise this, raise this pipe 9 mil. Okay, so what we do, just like in all my other videos, we We mark a level line. We do it nice and level still. So we hold it level. If you hold this pipe level, which is there, you do a bit of a line there. What we'll do is the tape measure nine mil. Okay. And then what we do is we so we want that to go there like that exactly there. That's so what we then do. So what we do now, using our T, okay, so we find the middle of the basin, which is there. We can sort of, we can more or less eye it. At this stage, we can just eye the middle of the basin. And we then draw a line here where to cut the pipe. line there. We'll cut this pipe here. So at the, at the end of the pipe I've got a cleaning eye. So that goes in there. Okay, so the cleaning eye goes in there. Right, so what we've got to do now is we've got to put another clip just in the middle here. Okay, so we're doing it in the exact middle the mixing valve exactly in the middle there okay right so when we put this clip in we've got to be careful that we don't push it down or push it up so we're just going to hold it in line so it's got a natural so it's sitting naturally right, folks when doing up the clip fittings you just need to sort of push it up a bit as well so don't so don't just screw it so don't just to so put one in like this but for the bottom one, what you need to do is you just need to push it upwards a little bit. That sort of locks it all in, okay? It's a little tip there. So when you do it, okay, so when you do the bottom one, you do the first one to work out your height, but the second one, you just 
do it and you squash it upwards a little bit. Okay, so the spacing has come in useful. So it's not interfering with the, the pipe works, not interfering with the, um, so we can still turn it on and off and access the mixing valve. As we've got reducers, we've got a reducer in here. That reduces it to 32 mil. And put a reducer into this one. Like that. We just need to cut some 32 mil pipe from there to there. Oh, it's gone in. So, let's make sure it goes all the way in. Like that. Right. We then need to finally just cut this, cut these into place. So we cut one there. Remember folks, um, these fittings are designed to be taken apart for maintenance. So you, you just really you just want them to be hand tight, but tight, tight, hand tight. Okay, so you can easily undo them. Okay, so you don't really want to be doing it up too tight using using pump pliers or grips. Okay, so just do it hand tight as tight as you can that's my general rule for this one okay okay so this is what the spacing's done so I, the reason i put spacers on there because it brings it off the wall okay okay so we've filled up both but we filled up both basins it's going to discharge into a bucket for now okay like this i'm just going to check for leaks okay so so that's the first one. So we're just going to have a look for what we're going to do. Have a visual look for leaks. Wet, 20 leaks. So that's looking okay. Just feel underneath. That's looking okay. And then we'll do the same again. We'll then let the plug out of this one. And we just have a just have a feel for any leaks, anything wet, and there's there isn't any. Now you know how to install push fit waste pipe, it's your turn to have a go.